Hello everyone and welcome back to your Kung Fu training class. Today we're carrying on with the Shao Liu Han. So without further ado, let us warm up. So your wrists and your ankles. So if you can do a little bit of warm up before you start the class, that will be really great. And then we can really focus on the new movements that we're gonna be learning today. Okay, change the other side. So last week I set you some homework. So hopefully you've been practicing that Shuang Fen Jiao, that inside tornado kick. Do you remember we did last week? Okay, stretch up, push your arms backwards. Okay, and then stretch down to the floor. Try to put your hands on the floor if you can. With this movement, you really wanna keep your legs straight, yeah? So really try to keep your legs straight. Feel the stretch on the back of your legs. Okay, now reach over to the other leg. Grab your feet and pull your head down towards your shin. Okay, now walk your hands to the other side. Uh, pull your head down. Okay, fantastic. Okay, come up. Okay, swing your arms forward. Good, and backwards. Okay, and one forward, one back. Okay, and change. Okay, good, let's warm up your hip. So just circle your hips around. Okay, good. And change direction. Okay, and your knees. So circle your knees around, good. And then change. And squat down. Okay, when you squat down, try to keep your feet flat on the floor if you can. Okay, and then push your knees backwards. And then squat down again. And then back. And then down one more time. And then backwards. Okay, let's practice our stretching. We're gonna warm up our, our, in our stances. So you're gonna bend your front knee uh, 90 degrees and keep your back leg straight. This is called a gumbu stretch. So you're just gonna stretch your hip out. Okay, good, now change to the other side. Okay, good, push your hip down. Okay, very good. From this position, we're gonna change into a pubu or a low stance. So you're gonna squat down on your right foot. So squat down, try to push your, um, your knee out. So you'll squat down in the middle of your stance and grab your feet and try to push your body forward or your head towards your left leg. You're trying to reach forward. Okay, and then from here, you're gonna change to the other side. So squat down on the other side. Again, try to keep your feet flat on the floor. Push your, your knee back with your elbow and grab your feet and then reach forward. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Okay, and then stand up. So we're just gonna do a very short warm up just to get your body a little bit hot, okay, and get ready to practice your movements for the Shao Liu Han. Um, practice the, the next step in the form. Um, so we're just going to do some short sort of abdominal warm-up just to get your body a little bit warmer um, and then we'll carry on. I'm going to show you some techniques after that and then we'll go straight into our floor. Okay, so if we sit down on the floor, we're just going to do a short abdominal warm-up. So the first thing I want you to do is some crunch exercises. So from here, your legs are up off the floor and your body is straight. And then you're going to tuck in, grab your knees and then back out to this position. Yeah, so we're only going to do 10 sets of these, followed by 10 10 sit up to the side, to the side, like this, followed by 10 kicks, changing your leg, yeah? So when you kick your leg up, you need to tap your hand to the opposite foot, yeah? And sit up at the same time, okay? Okay, you ready? So we're just gonna do 10, 10, and 10. Okay, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, straight to the next set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Tap your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. And relax. Rest for a few seconds. Just get your energy back. 
Obviously, you might find this exercise easy. If you find it easy, then just add on another 10. Okay, good. Okay, let's do our second set. Okay, ready? So 10, 10, and 10. 10 crunches. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, kick up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and relax. Relax your stomach. <laughs> Energy back. Okay, well, one more set, then I'm going to show you some techniques. Okay, good. Okay, this is the last set. So 10, 10, and 10. Let's just add on an extra five, okay? So this time 15. This is your last set, so just add on a little bit more. Okay, you ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. So 15, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and the kicks. Fifteen. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, very good. Okay, stand up. <sighs> you still with me, guys? Yeah? Okay, very good. So I just want to show you a stretch um, we did a couple of weeks back. So remember, you're going to cross your legs over like this. Yeah, so one leg over, you're going to cross one over. Then you're going to tuck the other knee behind onto the floor. This is called a shiabu. Yeah, you've done this lots of times in your beginner's class. So then what I want you to do is I want you to sit down onto the floor, yeah? So your body is sat down. Yeah, so you're sat in between your leg. This position, this position called a zuo pan, yeah? So you can stretch in this position by bringing your knee closer to your chest, and then you're gonna turn your body so to the opposite direction. So this is one of the movements within your shallow hand. This is one of the, the, the ariat positions. Okay, good. Then from this position, I want you to put your hands up off the floor and I want you to stand up. Yeah, and then I want you to cross the other leg over and then sit down into the shabu position and then onto the floor. Yeah, so sitting down on the floor again. Good. Okay, grab your knee close into your chest. Grab your opposite foot and twist your body to the opposite side. So even this is a... A uh, traditional position also is a uh, qigong movement as well at the same time. Okay, very good. Your hands are off. You're going to stand up. I'll be back a bit. So stand up. Okay, then you cross your foot over. Yeah, shibu down to saw pan. Stand up, cross your leg over, shibu saw pan. So up, cross. Down, go. Up, cross. Down, up. So this is strengthening your legs, because in a minute, you're gonna have to get up and down in this position. Yeah, so we'll do a few more sets. I'll do it slowly again, just so you can copy me and get used to the movement. At the beginning, when you practice, it's gonna feel a little bit awkward. So share and put your knee on the floor, then sit down, then stand up. Cross over, shabu, zuo pan, up, cross over, shabu, zuo pan, zuo pan, you're sat down, yeah? Up, over, shabu, zuo pan, up, and over. Okay, good. Okay, relax your legs. Relax. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just a small jump. Um, so from this crossing leg over, so you're going to cross your left leg over your right. So what we're going to do from here 
is I want you to bring up your right knee up and then jump onto your left leg, your knee up, and then from this position down into Pubu. Yeah? Okay, let's try that movement again. So your legs crossed over, your left leg crossed over your right. So you're gonna bring your right knee up, then you're gonna bring your left knee up, and then you're gonna squat down onto the right leg. Yeah, let's try again. So you're gonna go one, two, three. Okay, the next part I want you to do is I want you to jump. So from this position, you're gonna bring your right knee up, your left knee up, and then jump into Pabu. Yeah, so let's try again. So cross your left leg over. So from here, you're gonna go right knee up, left knee, Pabu. Yes, yeah, so you're sitting down on that Pabu leg. Okay, and then again. So you're gonna go one, Pabu, and then up. Okay, two more sets of this. Ready, go, one, Okay, good. And the last one. Okay, go, knee up, pubu. Okay, great. Okay, relax your legs. So from this side, you're gonna go into gumbu, change to gumbu. Okay, then you're gonna bring your right knee up, your left knee up, your right knee up, and then slide into pubu on the other side. Yeah. Okay, so from the gumbu, you're going to bring your left knee up, right knee up, and then into Pabu. Yeah. Okay. One more time. Gumbu. So, left, right, Pabu. Good. Okay, now we're going to do a little jump. So, from here, you're going to go one, Pabu. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, one more time. So, Gumbu. So you're going to bring your left knee up, right knee, jump into Pabu. So ready, go. One, Pabu. Good. Okay, relax your legs. So these movements that we're doing, they're going to be in the next movements for our um, Xiaolu Han. So remember for your homework, I was teaching you how to do a Shuan Fen Jiao. So this is the next movement in our practice. Um, so this movement you really need to be able to keep practicing and practicing. I'm going to remind you how to do it now. So, Shuan Fen Jiao is called an inside tornado kick, and it looks a little bit like this. So, from here, you're going to go one, two, up, and turn. Okay? So, the first way to practice is we're just going to do an inside kick to begin with. Okay? So, you're going to do inside kick with your right leg. Okay? So, you start like this, this position. You're going to stamp your right, point your left, and your hands out to the side. Yeah, let's do that preparation again. So, yibe. Okay. From here, you're going to kick your right leg and you're gonna hit with your palm on your foot. So your foot is gonna hit your palm. Yeah, so inside, like this. Yeah. Okay, and again. So your right leg is gonna hit the, your palm, the sole of your foot, is gonna hit your palm. So you can see from here, look, watch. So you're gonna go up, up, hit, and then back down to where we started. Okay, and then again. So you can kick a little bit higher, kick, good, and then back to where we started again, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to practice this movement. We're gonna do five sets. Okay, ready, you bang? And we're gonna go one, good, back to the beginning. Okay, two, and back. Three, and back, and four, and back, and five, and back. So this movement, this inside kick, is what you do when you're doing your jumping tornado kick. Yeah, so your shuang fen jiao. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the movement slowly. So from here, the last movement, you're in this gumbu position. Don't worry too much about your arms just yet where we finish off. I'm just gonna show you the kick first, okay. So from here, you're gonna turn your body to the opposite direction. You're gonna step one, two, yeah? So you're gonna step left, step right. Then what I want you to do is to raise up 
your left knee and turn. Yeah? So let's try that again. So just recapping what we did last week, okay? So come through, turn, step one, two, raise up your left knee and turn. Yeah, so when you turn, when you raise up your left knee, you need to make sure that you point your toe downwards, yeah, as you're turning. Okay, again. So from here, turn. One, two, you're gonna raise up your left knee, put your foot down. Now you're gonna do that inside kick. Inside kick and turn. Okay, and again. So left, right, knee up, inside kick and turn. When you do your inside kick, carry on moving around. So as you kick, you're gonna put your foot down and then carry on twisting. Yeah, you carry on twisting around, so you're twisting into this jaw jabble position. Yeah, okay, and again. So from here, one, two, knee up, inside, keep twisting. Okay, let's practice again one more time, breaking the movements down really slowly so you can get this movement. Okay, and left, right, knee up, inside kick, twist. Okay, now the transition between your kick, your inside kick, you're not gonna put your foot down, yeah? So from here, you're gonna go one, two. As you jump, from here, you're gonna jump off your right leg. As you jump in the air, you're gonna do your inside kick and then land, yeah? Okay, so let's try that again. So we're gonna go one, to jump up, kick, and twist. Okay, and again. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, jump up, and twist. So when you're twisting, you need to turn all the way around so you face back around to the front again. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, up, and turn. Okay, good. So later on when you practice, you're then gonna kick and land on the same leg, kick, uh, leg that you kick off. That will be kind of later on. So now this is okay, this is okay for practicing. So, right, without further ado, let's go on to the next section. So we're gonna to start to go through the form from the beginning all the way to where we left off. And then we're gonna carry on with the next section. And you're gonna see these movements that I've just done incorporated into the next part of the form, okay? So let's go through it slowly, step by step. And I'm gonna show you the next section and then we're gonna to practice together. Okay, let's see if we can remember. So, you remember your bait, here. So number one, you're gonna cross your hands in front. Number two, you're going to squat down, jump up into pavu, then block, grab, twist, strike. Punch up, down, turn. So from here we have Archie Jow, Archie Jow, then Jin Jow. Then from this position, remember we were jumping up. One, two, one, two, three. Uppercut, turn, shibu. Okay? Just move back a little bit here. So in our shibu position, you're gonna block, right jump, jump, one, two, three. Yeah, from here. You're then going to do your side push. So ginger, side push, 20, turn, block, here. Then, you recognize this movement? Okay, carrying on. Up, cross over one, two, three, punch, turn, punch. Then from here, block, Push. Okay. Moving on, I'm gonna move over here. So we've got some more room. From this movement, then you're gonna step backwards. Stab, block, stab, stab. Yeah? Then remember last week, this is the section that we did last week. So from here, we stood up. We kick, whoa, down. Then from here, stand up, turn, push, flick. So we finished in this position. So I just want to add a tiny bit of accuracy onto that last movement. 
um, that I wasn't able to show you last week. So, when you're turning, as you come forward, as you step forward, you need to make sure that your hands come back to your waist here. Yes, yeah, so as you're turning around, turn around, one, back to your waist, then your hands turn in, and then you open up this position. So your hands are coming up through the middle, and then flicking forward. Okay, so we finished in this position, this gumbo position here. Now we're gonna move on to the next part. So the next part is, your hands are gonna move, are gonna kind of follow your body movement round. Yeah, so from here, your hands are gonna climb round like this. They're gonna keep going, you're gonna do your schwan fen jiao, yeah? And then carrying on turning, and your hands end up down in this position. Okay, let me just show you the movement and then you can, you can see. So from here, you're gonna go. Yeah. So this is the section where we're gonna uh, stop to for this part and then we're gonna carry on for a little bit more. So your legs are gonna do the Sean Fen Jiao. So like I showed you in the beginning. So from here, you're gonna go one, two, kick up. So you're gonna land with your body facing the back and then you're gonna twist, you know, so you're gonna twist your feet. Yes, yeah, so your feet are standing like this, and then I want you to twist, leave your feet where they are, and then just twist facing the front. Okay, so as you do your chuan fen jiao, again, I'll show you again. So you're gonna go chuan fen jiao, twist. Yeah, so from here, and then twist. Your hands are gonna open into this palm, palm position. You're gonna bring your hands up and your palms together. And as you sit down into that chardon, you're gonna bring your hands all the way down to the level of your heart. Yeah, so this, this position is another ariat, is another low hand position. Okay, so let's join those movements together and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, okay, so from here, we have flick. Okay, ready? And short pinch up, turn. So here, turn, hands together, and down. Good. Let's practice again and do it a little, do it a little bit slower. Okay, ready? So from here again. So, Sean Fin, Jiao, turn arms up, palms together, and sit down. So from, from this position, you're gonna stand up, your left hand's gonna go up and your right hand down, make a circle, yeah? So from here, you're gonna circle all the way around to the center of your body, yeah? So, and again, so from here, circle. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist your hands over to the opposite side. So your hands are still in the center of your body. So here, one, twist. At the same time, you're gonna raise up your right knee and then your left knee, you're gonna jump. This is gonna be a jump in the air. You're gonna go down into Pumu. Then you're gonna block an uppercut, okay? So again, so you've been into Shadow, Zor Pack, stand up, one, twist, knee up, jump, Pumu, block, uppercut, okay? So the next section is you're going to turn around to the other side. So you're gonna to go to, um, to Marbu for the front, and you're gonna twist again. So from here, you're gonna circle your hands around, and you're gonna bring them towards the center of your body. Yeah, so you're kind of reflecting it on the other side, yeah? So you're doing the opposite way around. So from here, you're gonna uh, raise your hand up, circle around to the center of your body. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're going to twist your palm over, and you're going in the opposite direction. So as you twist your palm over, you're gonna raise up your right leg, your left leg, sorry, then your right knee, and then you're gonna squat down into pubu, and then block, and then uppercut. So you're kind of reflecting it around in the opposite direction, okay? So let's try it again from the beginning. So from so pan, so stand up, one, pubu, block, uppercut. Then from here, grab, twist, knee up, pubu, block, uppercut. Okay? 
So let's try it again, a little bit slower. I try and talk you through it a bit more slowly. So from here, stand up, then. So as you stand up, make sure you're in this prayer, prayer position. Then you're gonna circle your hands around, so one in front of your body. Then jump into Pabu, starting with your left leg up. So you're gonna jump up, switch your hands in the air. So switch, Pabu, block, upper cut. Grab in the front, twist me up, Pabu, block, upper cut. Okay, good. So hopefully you've got that section. We're gonna start from the beginning all the way through. I'm gonna go through it slowly, step by step, and then hopefully you guys have got it. Okay, so from this gumbu position into your chuan feng jiao. Okay, ready? Go. Chuan feng jiao. Up. Shut them. Then stand up. One, two, jump. Hubu, uppercut. One, twist your hands. Hubu, block, uppercut. Okay, good. Have you got it? Do you need to see it one more time? <laughs> yes. Okay, we'll do it one more time. One more time, okay, ready? Just to make sure you've definitely got it. Okay, so ready from here, so you've gone forward and go. One, two. Okay, from here, stand up, grab, pubu, block, uppercut. Grab, jump, pubu, uppercut. Okay, good. Right guys, I hope you've got that movement. Um, if you want to uh, watch it, practice it, you just need to rewind the video and keep practicing over and over again. Um, if you want to learn the rest of the form from previous, you just need to go back over the previous videos and then just keep watching them and catch up to this point. And then next week, there's not much more to go now, there's only a short section to finish off. So um, let's just warm down, let's just relax your legs. Okay, and take three deep breaths in, so breathe in and out. And again, breathe in and out. And last time, breathe in and out. Very good, okay. Great guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more, you can always go on our website and have a look online. It's www.ukshaolin.com. We've got loads of classes on there that you can join. If you really like the class today and you want us to continue teaching these classes on, uh, on Facebook and on the social media, then do let us know, leave your comments and let us know what you would like to learn. Okay, great. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Shako, class finish. Hop.